Former MSU Bobcat and current Chicago Bears Zach Minner has survived final roster cuts and will play in his first NFL game this Sunday. I spoke to him today about making the cut. Last Saturday was a stressful day for former MSU Bobcat Zach Minner as he waited word from his new NFL coach if he had made the final roster, making his former defensive line coach at MSU nervous as well. Of the goal line, he will not get in. They gave him the opinion that he was going to know uh, by Friday. He did not know up until Saturday at about 3 o'clock our time. So we talked probably half a dozen times between then. But soon it was rejoiced as he found out he had made the team and will head into his game against the Cincinnati Bengals, listed number two on the depth chart. It was a big emotional sigh when he finally knew. And it was fun to talk to him, and he's screaming, and the guys were texting back and forth. And it's just great for the kid. It means the, the world to me, man. I'm so blessed. I put in a lot of hard work. I, I definitely did a lot throughout the offseason. To make a 15-team roster really is a testament to hard work. Minner and Beck spoke about Craig Ashworth's pick six this year, remembering back to Minner's pick six while at MSU. They had a little variation in their stories, however. He goes, tell me about Craig. And uh, he wanted to make sure that everybody knew that he didn't need a lead back blocker uh, when he rolled down the field. <laughs> okay, for the record, I, didn't, I never said I didn't need a lead blocker. He kind of implied that. <laughs> I never said that. But, I mean, that's just how the D-line is. We like to joke around with each other. Minner, though, has never forgotten his roots and is thankful for all he learned while at MSU. I, I'm going to try to get back on my bye week to watch a game, you know, because I... I it's going to be weird watching, but I really do. I miss, I, miss the, I miss those men. I miss the team. You know, I miss my teammates and coaches and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to follow as much as I can. Though Zach Minner may have gotten used to thousands of screaming fans while playing here at Bobcat Stadium, it'll reach a whole nother level when he takes the field Sunday for his first NFL game with the Chicago Bears. You know, I'm still excited to see what it's like to run out with a fully loaded Soldier Field. I'm excited. My family's going to be there. My mom's flying us. I'm kind of nervous, but it just comes with the job description. Great situation for Zach right there. I always think to myself, boy, I wish we didn't redshirt him because we'd have him this year. But it probably is the best thing to happen for the kid for, for his future there with the Bears.